Here we are on the, the shores of uh, Johnson Lake Reservoir in Banff National Park. And last year in August of 2016, uh, this was the site of the first confirmed case of whirling disease anywhere in Canada. So whirling disease is a parasite uh, of salmonid fishes. So it affects uh, salmon, trout and char and whitefish. And, uh, and so the fish that were in this lake, uh, there was, it's been stocked with uh, brook trout and rainbow trout years ago. Uh, Park Scan hasn't done any stocking for well over 30 years, but previously uh, that, this lake was stocked with that, those fish. Um, this parasite affects uh, salmonids and, and it can affect mortality in those species. And so this was the first known case anywhere in Canada. So we immediately began working with the Canadian Food Inspection Agency because it is a reportable disease in Canada. Uh, and working with our colleagues and, and uh, partners in the province of Alberta to uh, fan out a, sort of a province-wide and a park-wide cooperative detection uh, program. So we were trying to delineate where else uh, might whirling disease be found. Well, Parks Canada has uh, five approved um, euth uh, euthanization um, techniques. And one of them is in, the, in this, they're sort of situational based on, you know, what we're doing. And in this case, uh, we give them an overdose of electricity. So more than you normally would in a situation where you want to sample them non-lethally. Uh, and then the larger fish, we also follow up with uh, what's called uh, cervical um, dislocation. So basically cutting their heads off. And then dis we dispose, obviously those fish are, um, you know, potentially contaminated. And so we take them back to the office, put them in a freezer, and then uh, at some point in time, they get taken to a, an approved landfill.